what's up folks, uh, I'm going to make a new video, but this time I, I wanted to make a time lapse, but this time I wanted to go a little more in depth, which I might stop and then talk and then talk about the next process. I'm going to paint on one of these 10 by 10 wood panels. I'll end up taking you through the whole process of uh, sketching and how I transfer the sketch onto this. I've already got one started. It's kind of a smiley looking dragon character kind of waving. I'm going to put a rider on the back of him. I've got a saddle on him and stuff. But I'm going to take you through the whole deal. Okay, here we go with our little smiley dragon and stuff. Uh, I sketched him on tracing paper. But, okay, if, if I try to fit him... on the wood panel, you can kind of see... Let's see. You can kind of see where I have a little, I need a little extra space. So I'm going to take another piece of tracing paper and retrace him uh, with the paper long ways so I can fit the guy in there. But I think I might actually do this on a diamond, which will give me a little more space. But we'll see. But for now, I'm just going to re-sketch this guy and try to put a rider on the back of him. And I'll time lapse that, and then after that, I'll stop and tell you what I do next. Okay, I got the sketching done, and I decided I was going to do it on a diamond. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of get the image looking right, center it and stuff. Right about like that. I'm going to tape it down with some masking tape on one side so I can flap it up. That's one thing, you better make sure you got this on tight using a uh, red transfer paper I'm going to sketch just the outline of everything and you got to be careful for the negative spaces because I want to keep the bare wood exposed of course after that I'm going to paint inside of the outline the Get Swing Wing, made by Transigram, where the fun comes from. It's a Swing Wing. It's a what? Okay, got that done. You see here. I hope, hopefully you can see it on this camera, but it's just the outline. And now I'm going to um, fill it with antique white acrylic paint. So I don't even think I'm going to film that either, because it's just kind of nothing. If you're curious or confused, get information or a pamphlet at most pharmacies or a health clinic. If you need help, see a doctor. You see? I actually got a boo-boo going right there. Got some acrylic paint, so I actually just took a block sander and sanded it off. What, 180 grit. And I actually uh, sanded this down, the uh, paint down. I've sanded the wood before I did all this, but I thought I'd smoothen the paint down. And that's the first time I've tried that. It's actually, a, it feels a lot better. So, um, the next thing, next thing I'll do is you just go ahead and sketch the line work. Or, I'm sorry, uh, trace the line work. Someone thinks your cake is pretty good without frosting. Sydney, you're in trouble. Uh oh. Duncan Hines. All right, there you have that. Go on ahead and traced in the sketch. Added a couple extra lines and stuff. And now I'm going to get into the paint. I guess right here I have to decide if I want to do oils or uh, acrylics, but I think on this one I'm going to do acrylics so I can get it done faster. Come on and wish me the best of luck, dear. There's no one. 
much. I, I noticed the video's getting a little long for YouTube, so I'm gonna break it into two parts. Uh, so we're starting to get somewhere. So tonight I'll go ahead and continue painting it and uh, time lapsing it. And as soon as that's done, uh, I'll upload it. But I think I'll also go through the process of uh, glazing it and put that in part two. So keep on watching. Thank you. 